This is the real Tom Rose, and when they ask you um, what value must x take on in order for the following equation to be true, that long question there, that's essentially like saying uh, solve for x. So it might, it might sound like a different question, but they're really saying is just take this equation and solve it for x. Um, so we're gonna, let's do that. And I'm gonna start out by uh, doing kind of a cross multiply here. So we end up with seven times x plus five equals eight times x plus three. Then let's distribute um, those sevens and eighths. So we end up with seven x plus 35 equals eight x plus 24. And keeping that going, now let's collect like variables. You end up with, um, let's subtract seven x from both sides and let's subtract 24 from both sides. All right, so the 24s cancel, the seven x's cancel and you're left with uh, 35 minus 24, which is 11, equals eight minus seven x, which is one x. So that's your answer, and x must be 11, the fifth answer choice.